Hi everyone, welcome back. I uploaded something on my TikTok yesterday, last night, and it went minorly viral. I have like 600,000 views on it as of right now. Oh. Um, and I had a lot of questions of people asking me what the products were and they wanted to see the process of applying it as well. The technique that I shared was a way to get a full face of makeup in just a single layer rather than putting on primer, foundation, concealer, contour, bronzer, blush and everything so that you're building up multiple layers on the skin. This is a way to get all of the same effect with a very thin layer of product while at the same time utilizing setting spray as a way to aid in the blending process but also infuse those setting mist properties into your makeup. So the result is a really gorgeous glowy natural finish that uses a lot less product because you're not layering on top, you're only applying product exactly where it's meant to go. If it's not really making sense, definitely just keep watching because I go right into detail, but I also have it over on my TikTok and my Instagram. Cool, so without further ado, let's get into it and I'll be breaking down the whole look. Okay, so I've just done my skincare. I'm not gonna put a primer on because sometimes primers can be a bit sticky um, and I find that the, the makeup can like stick to it and it won't be easy to blend. So I'm gonna start out with the lightest product, which would be concealer and placing that just wherever you would end up putting your concealer, you know, later on in the process. And in the reels and TikTok I did, I did dots, but I'm gonna do lines so that it's clear you can do it any different way you want. Just because you don't have to do dots, obviously. That was just a stylistic choice. And that one is the Kosas Revealer Concealer and I'm in 3.5. So after I've done the highlighter, I'm gonna do foundation. Then the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX10. I did just apply this with um, a little brush. I am just gonna dot that one on. This is such a great match for me, this color. And then the contour one that I used is the Hollywood one from Charlotte Tilbury. The blush is this nice moussey one called Darling from NARS. Then some bronzer, I'll just draw that up here. I think that's all. Typically, when you do your makeup, you're doing it step by step, product by product, and blending out the product as you go. So this one I've put on everything on my face, um, where it's going to go, and that has prevented the layering of products on top of one another, and now, there is a single layer, there will be, sorry, when I blend it out, a single layer of makeup on my face. So my idea here is that I'm using such a small amount of foundation because it's only going where the product, the other products are not. So I'm using a lot less foundation, which is great because Kevin Aquan is pricey, but also my makeup will look a lot more natural. And I find that it doesn't take any more or less time really than doing it a more traditional way. And another thing, because I use the mist to keep everything wet so it will blend out, those really great properties from your favorite mist that help the product to stay in place are gonna be infused with the makeup because you're gonna be blending it in with all of those products. So I'm using the Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Always an Optimist Mist. I'm gonna go ahead. The brush I'm using is this Laura Mercier cheek brush. And I'm just gonna go in with that and start on the lightest color. So that would be concealer. And then I'll start blending out the foundation into that. It doesn't have to be perfect when you're blending it first. You're just kind of spreading it out more. Spread out most of the concealer, now it's the foundation. Then the blush. Now I'll do the bronzer. So I moved from lightest to darkest when it came to products. That way um, I won't be muddying the lighter colors with the bronzer or the contour as I use it. So moving up in the deepness of a product. So should mean that I'm not gonna end up with contour where I put my concealer. Now, if you need to, you can mist your face more if maybe if you live in a really dry climate or something and you feel like the product is setting before you get a chance to blend it. 
like under here. I think I might mist it again. It will also help give it a more sheer effect too because you're making it like more wet. <laughs> so it's like watercolor the product a little bit. So easy to blend. Just gonna wipe off any excess onto a face halo, but you could just use whatever you want, just wipe off the excess. And then I'm just gonna pat over everything to make sure that it's all blended and that there's no little streaks from the brush. If you were to use a sponge and you could use a sponge totally instead of the brush, you wouldn't get lines. So try that too. Now, a lot of people feel like this is too shiny and I get it, okay? It is pretty shiny. It's exasperated by these lights uh, because they're really intense so that you can see all the detail and uh, it's making me look a lot more shiny than I feel like I look in natural lighting. So take your favorite powder and pat that over the top to help seal everything in. Make sure it's a really nice lightweight powder. This one's the Charlotte Tilbury one and make sure you're patting it because there's not much product on, so you don't wanna be smearing it around and moving it around. I typically just start where it's most shiny. So like my forehead, my nose, my chin, but definitely pat, don't swipe, yet at least. Just gonna brush my brows up again. That is how it looks up close. So just added a little bit of lip gloss and uh, brows. That's the look done. I could then go a hoe and go a hoe. Then I could go and go and do like an eye makeup look and stuff if I wanted this to be a more dressy look, but I'm obsessed with this skin effect. It's really good for every day. It's really good for fancy makeup looks. Try it, it stays really, really well. So I shared this over on my TikTok and my Instagram reels. So make sure you go over there and follow me on TikTok and Instagram uh, because I've got lots of really short form hacks and tips sharing there all the time. But I hope you enjoyed this slower breakdown with products and applying everything because uh, I don't have time to do that in some of my reels. You know, I only have like 30 to 60 seconds to share a tip. So if there's anything you want me to do longer form, let me know in the comments of my TikTok and reels and then I will aim to do it like I did today. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.